hi guys so today's topic how to upload the file uh, in a ASP.NET MVC is a today's topic okay fine so I have a, a action called a test uh, okay so I have a postmaster uh, as I created already so I just go to the view so uh, I just going to add a file upload controller uh, through that I just uh, trying to post some image and I just planning to save uh, it in an app data so how to do that so today's topic so we're going to see the home controller test already there okay whatever the script or everything I just uh, remove I don't want uh, any stuffs there okay this let it be no problem with that okay so okay so here I going to use my HTTP, uh, HTML uh, begin form uh, to post my content so okay let HTML dot begin form okay here I going to mention my action name action name is a test okay and my uh, controller okay then my form method call to post good okay here I going to write my controller like I just go and take my input type file here I just keep the name called the same file okay then input type submit value okay okay so here uh, I just uh, add one more uh, parameter I'm going to set my encode type so because it is an image so we have to do the en encode process so okay I just uh, mentioned my Okay, my encode type is a multi-part form data okay so now I mentioned my encode type okay then I go and write my code here okay here uh, I have to get the parameter file by using hi http HTTP and sec okay it's actually the HTTP uh, posted file oops uh, oh, sorry okay HTTP posted file base so the instance name what we post the same we had to give okay good sorry okay here if file not equal to null then go on to get the file name okay file name okay so by using the path dot
using a system dot io path dot get file name okay here file dot file name just to hold this uh, file name here okay then where dot path equal to I going to compare the two path dot compare combine server dot map path so here you mentioned the folder name okay slash it's a app data so okay good then pause the file name which uh, to combine okay nice so now we my path and uh, this is ready okay then go and save the file directly file dot save us give the path here good okay i think everything uh, seems to be fine so let me go and uh, run my page we'll see how it works so currently i don't have any data in my app data let me open that too open the folder it's empty here we'll see now okay home slash test okay i going to choose some file so here i have a uh, my uh, un text uh, file so i just uh, go and select this okay it is selected press ok it will go here so we'll see on sec uh, there is some issues file it's not taking on sec i'll just check so multi part okay there is some issues here one sec okay so here actually spaces are there so due to that the issue okay no problem this time we definitely to look okay I just refresh the page so if you go and see my folder is still empty okay so now I go and uh, select the file do okay press ok so yeah now we got the file that holder in the stream port uh, file base okay this time it works good file is not none so what is the file is do dot the text then go and find the path uh, e slash so web application what the path we defined it is uh, find out and finally go and save there and finally it will return the view okay so go and see this uh, time the path see uh, the file is presented in the path what the server path what we mentioned if you go and uh, refresh this too you will uh, get to know the details of that okay let me stop the application just refresh see my do uh, text uh, file is added in the app data so this is a way guys so this is the way you have to write the code uh, just i zoomed out zoom uh, zoom in zoomed out to see the clear picture of this okay what i did is i just collected my file name and i just combined my uh, path and uh, find out my path and using combine i just mapped my server path with my file name and uh, finally i saved this file to the path so only the three line of code to save the path thanks for watching the video guys